Well, howdy, folks. Um, it's Christmas Eve, and uh, I'm feeling like in a good mood, so I um, figured I'd make a little, just a little video, just because I wanted to, and I, I felt kind of silly about this uh, this thing we're going to talk about here. So, um, you know, I'm in a good mood, and I'm just, I'm just going to cover it anyway. So, anyways, it's Christmas Eve, and a few of my buddies decided that we're going to go, uh, we're going to go out in the desert and go, go shoot a bunch of stuff because a friend came in from out of town, so. We wanted to have some fun, and we figured, hey, you know, it's Christmas Eve. Nobody's nobody's going to be out there at the usual shooting spot, so it should be a good time. And sure enough, it was. So, but the thing in question I want to talk about, and um, you know, please don't don't murder me or anything, but um, I bought a Taurus. I know what you think. I know what you're thinking. Let me say my piece first before you get all, oh, it's a Taurus, ew, right? Um, this is what I got. I got a Taurus TX22. And the only reason why I got this is because, um, one, it was available. Two, the price was pretty good. Um, and three, I kind of wanted a 22 pistol that roughly mimicked pretty much um, size, shape, function, feel, manual of arms as pretty much every other uh, striker-fired polymer-framed 9mm pistol that you can think of. This, this is a great analogy. Even if it's not 100% exactly like, well, really any other striker-fired 9 um, it's, it's close enough, right? So, um, I picked it up, I bought it and, um, I was making the joke to my friends. I said, Hey, uh, I just want you to know I, I bought a Taurus. I, I understand. I totally get it. If, if you feel like that we cannot be seen in public together anymore, totally get it. Totally get it. We're cool. We're fine. Um, you know, just as a joke because the whole, the whole gun community is saying, you know, Oh, Tau Taurus is bad. Taurus is shit. Taurus is this, that, or the other. Taurus is the worst thing on this earth. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but really, I wanted to see for myself. So, and considering this gun has had actually a pretty decent reviews from other YouTubers and, and, and other reviews, like, you know, uh, the, all the gun rags and everything actually said nothing but good things about this. So, um, I really did want to see for myself. And honestly, it feels really, really good in the hand. Like, they, they must have done their research on this and, like, you know, actually did some good ergonomics. Um, you know, on this gun because it, it it feels great. Um, and for a size comparison too, this is almost the exact same size as my HK VP9. Um, this one's actually a, it's just a, a hair shorter. Um, but as far as other dimensions and like just overall size, this feels almost exactly like pretty much any other striker fired nine that you can pr pretty much think of. Um, so I'll say ergonomics, uh, fit and finish, all of that was actually pretty darn impressive. And um, I, I don't have anything bad to say about it at all. Um, but the, 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 one, the one concern I did have though when I was messing around with this, and uh, I, I put a laser bore sight in this just to see if it actually was uh, on target at all. And it was off a little bit, but I, I decided to adjust it. And um, the rear sights on these are, in fact, go focus. Uh, are in fact fully adjustable. You can see the two little screws there. They're kind of blurry, but you can see them. Um, those two little screws there will adjust for windage and elevation, so they are adjustable. But as I found out uh, the hard way, um, the elevation adjustment only comes in three settings, and you can visibly see the rear side on here kind of go, you know, it just it ratchets up a little bit. Um, but if you keep trying to turn it to take it even higher. Um, it'll just reset and the whole site will just go right back down to zero. Um, so it's not, it's not truly, truly fully adjustable, at least what I would consider fully adjustable. Um, these are not like, you know, LPA target site quality in terms of um, being adjustable or even just being durable or robust. So while they are adjustable and I appreciate what they're trying to do there, the execution was kind of chintzy to say the least. Um, the windage elevation, uh, windage elevation, the windage uh, adjustment worked just fine. Um, I didn't notice any any movement from the the, the movable por uh, portion of the site, any any real issues going left right. So no issues there. The uh, front sight is kind of Glock like in the sense that there's no dovetail. It, there's a screw underneath the top of the um, like a, a bolt or something underneath the the slide here. So you have to take the whole gun apart, unscrew it from the bottom, and put the new sight in. Blah 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 do all that. Um, Glock owners will be very familiar with that process. So um, so this gun also has a 
manual safety right here on the side right there and it's also on the other side which um, I actually quite like because uh, I, I, I am a I'm a 1911 guy you know through and through and this this actuates pretty much exactly how I like to feel maybe it's a little small but it, it's in the same position as it would be on a 1911 for me so um, you know I'm very easily able to maintain my grip on the gun and uh, actuate and deactuate the safety so I quite like that um, is it necessary on the, like a 22 gun like this I really don't think so um, I, I, I don't have any real practical reason to use it but it's nice that it's there you know um, it's not obtrusive it doesn't impede on your on your on your thumbs all that much but you know even if you do have like a high thumbs grip like this for some reason uh, it I don't I don't feel like it impedes the function or, or uh, of shooting shootability of the firearm at all. Um, that's just me. That's my preference. Um, what else? Uh, for the slide release slide lock right here, um, it's a little small, but it's functional. It's not like a Glock where it's like a tiny little piece of sheet metal and you're trying so desperately to push down on it and you just you just can't get purchase with your thumb. With this one, it will easily, quite easily, go down. So uh, there's no fighting that, which is good. Um, so how did it shoot? Uh, considering I was out in the desert and uh, I wasn't really going for like tight groups or anything, I just wanted to see where it was printing on paper at like 15 yards. Uh, the windage was off just a little bit, but that's easily fixed with the adjustable rear sights, so that's really nice. Um, but once I got it dialed in and um, I was really starting to learn how to shoot this trigger and everything and, and just how this gun shot, um, you know, I'm getting holes and holes at 15 yards and just drilling out, you know, a little piece of paper. So um, accuracy, at least, was good enough for me. And uh, I will have some more video as well, kind of, um, uh, shooting only. Uh, and I'll, I'll have that separate, just like I always do for my other videos um, of, of me shooting this and, and putting various rounds through it. Um, I kind of wish I got more footage, but eh, it's all right. We're, we were mostly out there to have fun anyway, so... I wasn't gonna make them just be my be my cameraman all day. So, uh, but but the but the really good point about this gun that really surprises a lot of people is the trigger. So you think one, it's a Taurus, right? How good can it be? Two, it's a striker fired polymer frame gun. How good can it be, right? And three, there's no there's no there's no trigger dingus on this. So once again, how good can it be, right? Um, it, it it's surprisingly good. Uh, I don't know what kind of special name they use for for this particular type of trigger system, but as you can see, it does not have a trigger dingus. It's actuated in in the take up. So the, how the trigger pivots like that, that is that safety, I guess. Anyway, um, yeah, this this trigger just feels very natural to me, and it it breaks. It has a little bit of take up. I don't know if I can try to demonstrate this. So it's got. Just that little bit of take up and then a little bit more and you reach a wall very fast very quickly and then the trigger pull even though it's advertised at like what five five and a half six pounds maybe it doesn't feel like it at all it feels like a three to four pound trigger i i don't know why it just does and so we'll do we'll just uh, dry fire here it's already been cleared so that's the take up there's the wall pull 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 a little bit of grit a little bit oh Actually, I did not. Okay, now it's cocked. Here, let's do that again. So, take up, take up there, trigger safety. There's the wall. A little bit of grit. Boom. So, um, yeah, it, it, it just, I, I don't know how else to explain it other than it just, it just feels really good, really solid. Uh, and the reset on this is, is like, nothing it is so short uh, it's crazy I, I don't know if this will <laughs> show up well but uh right there and you're going again dude so fast so fast it is it is if you watch um a guy named hop he does stuff for uh tfb tv um his his re review on this gun he was saying how it's very hard to shoot this gun slow uh i definitely had the same issues with this um the the trigger reset is just so short uh, and, and then just pulling it back, it's just, it, again, it, it's nothing. It, it doesn't feel like anything. It, it's light, but it's very crisp. It's very, uh, very tactile. I mean, 
it's, it's just a good trigger. Like, I wish I had a trigger like this on some of my other guns, to be honest. Like, it, it's just good. So, um, you know, all of that taken together, um, it, it just, even though it is a Taurus and people are saying this is a, a oh, it's a crap gun or whatever, and being a 22 as well, um, I had no reliability issues with standard ammo, like, uh, you know, CCI, um, mini mags, uh, CCI standard velocity, um, just the regular bulk pack, high velocity stuff, no issues whatsoever. Um, the only ones I did have issues with were the, were the Aguila uh, Sniper Subsonics, and uh, those those can be pretty temperamental about uh, which which guns work well with those. Um, this this particular gun did not like those, so yeah, oh well. It's not the standard ammunition, so I'm not I'm not too concerned about it. But um, yeah, all these factors taken together, honestly, this this gun is just it was just fun. I, I put maybe three four hundred rounds through this thing in, in, in just this afternoon. And uh, man, it, it was just it was just fun to shoot. It, it's just good trigger, uh, good reliability. The sights are decent. Ergonomics are really good. Um, I was able to mess around by putting the putting the thread adapter on here and putting like you know compensators and like that fake can I have and all that stuff. And it worked just fine with those. That's always fun to just mess around. Um, but yeah, even though this, this gun just doesn't it, it doesn't weigh anything. It's got an aluminum slide. Uh, you know, it's blowback and everything. It's a Taurus and people are, you know, still like to bash on them. I, honestly, this gun just, I had no issues with it whatsoever. I really liked it. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it, it, this is, this is definitely a case. Um, I was talking to my buddy about this too. This is definitely a case of, um, everyone hating a certain thing or they, they, they don't like Taurus or they don't like whatever brand they don't like, but I found the majority of the people who say those kinds of things, I've never actually owned any of the supposed things that they hate that are so terrible. And in some cases, some of that stuff is warranted. Um, yeah, I've seen cases myself of certain certain brands, certain guns being particularly garbage. Um, but I've also seen the opposite too, where people say, oh, this particular gun is great and awesome and wonderful. Then I get it and I absolutely hate it and it's terrible for me. So this is definitely one of those cases where um, I definitely think the whole group think idea that all Tauruses are bad all the time forever does not apply to this gun because I've had just just great luck, great time with it. I like it. So uh, I will be keeping it and I'll, I'll be continuing to shoot it uh, because, you know, as the cost of ammunition right now is pretty, pretty excessive. Uh, so 22 is definitely the way to go, as it always has been in every other ammo situation we've ever been through. So tried and, tr tried and true 22 working every time so um but i also want to make a brief note about the the stuff that came with the gun too because some manufacturers ruger uh do not like to put extra things with their with their guns right so this one this one comes with two uh 16 round 16 round uh 22 mags right and uh while they they're not the they're not the easiest to load because they don't really have like follower tabs here that you can you can easily depress so you kind of have to use like a loader tool um they do hold 16 rounds they hold them comfortably everything was as i said reliable um they do feel kind of cheap though because these are entirely plastic there's no metal in here except for the uh except for the spring so um they feel kind of cheap but i mean they worked so i'm not gonna complain there um, they also give you a little loading tool here that you can put on the, uh, on the magazines to, you know, you, you, you push one round down and then you feed it in, you light it up, you push it all the way back again, put the next round, blah, 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 repeat. So that's nice that they included a little magazine loader. I, I would have preferred one that, um, like goes over the top and, and pushes down on the, on the follower. So you can just ride it all the way down. Like, you know, have, have the have the tool all the way at the base and then just drop the rounds in. I prefer that style myself, but um, you know, they didn't do that with this one. So yeah, it's just a minor thing. Now they also included uh, the thread adapter here, this little gizmo that you put on the, um, the end of the barrel here. This barrel is actually threaded. You put it on the end of the barrel here. So when, when it's threaded in properly, it'll, it'll uh, the front threads here will stick out and this back tube part will slip on uh, over the end of the barrel here, so you'll have your threads exposed, and you can put on, you know, whatever half by 28 um, stuff that you want. So uh, that's really cool that they included this adapter because 
Walther does not do that. Uh, Walther, with their 22 pistols, they do not include this little thread adapter. You have to buy this separately. Now, the, um, the one thing they, they did not include, though, was a um, the, the muzzle nut wrench. They did not include a wrench to take it off or to put this one on. So, naughty, naughty. Taurus, you should you should definitely include a wrench with with these with these um, thread cap twenty two style guns because Walther does that. Walther gives you this little this little doohickey wrench that you can use to you know take the take a little muzzle cap um, on and off. So I definitely would have appreciated to see that um, because I mean they give you the freaking adapter right, so they should give you the wrench too. But oh well. Um, yeah. So uh, I I do like the the things that it comes with uh, you know two mags that's always nice although I always prefer to have three uh, I'm probably gonna order another one it's a good thing too that these mags are pretty cheap they're like 20 bucks maybe so good on them for being cheap uh, but yeah just at, taking together as a whole package um, it really impressed me in the store it impressed me in the in the multitude of gun reviews I've seen I like the fact that it's threaded it's got the adjustable sights um, really good trigger on it and and really it, it's just you know, it performed well too. So I don't have anything bad to say about this gun. And I think honestly, it looks kind of cool too. Like, I don't know. It just looks cool. So I like this gun. I really do. Um, kind of through that whole like Taurus is crap mentality kind of just out of my head. Um, now are, are some Tauruses not so great? Probably still. Yes. But at least the CEO himself has admitted, um, that the past old guns, yeah, they were kind of shitty, but they're hoping to do better. So, you know, hey, they did really good on this. One one good turn deserves another, right? So maybe in the future I'll buy another Taurus, uh, different Taurus, you know, just, just to see, just to see. Am I going to make it like my super freaking duper, super duper awesome duty gun that's going to replace my USP? No, never. Um, but at least they are improving. They're making good stuff, you know, like this. Um... Not everything they make is trash, and um, yeah, I'm really happy with this. So, yeah, jeez, uh, what more else can I say about it? So, yeah, everything taken together, uh, I really like what they what they did with this gun. Uh, I like all the stuff they included with it. I like how it shot. I like how it looks. I I just like it. So, um, yeah, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how this uh, this thing holds up after you know the many many thousands of rounds I'm sure I'm going to be putting through it because uh, I like to shoot 22 a lot. So um, I hope at some point they'll 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 have better aftermarket like sights for this because I personally don't like the three dot arrangement here. I, I don't like three dot very much, um, but uh, you know that's just a personal taste type thing. So if they make it cool, if they don't, yeah, oh well, I'll make do. So yeah, um, that's pretty much all I got to say about the Taurus TX22. Um, hey, you know, if, if, if you have your doubts too, yeah, if, you, if you're Taurus curious like I was, um, you know, it's okay to come out. It's okay to say you are, all right? You know, whatever your friends say, it's, it's okay to be interested and to be curious because, hey, you just might find something that's actually pretty freaking good. So yeah, um, that's all I got to say about that. And uh yeah, uh, check out the shooting video that I'm going to have of me just, um, you know, plinking away. So, all right. Y'all have a very Merry Christmas, and uh, we'll see you next time.